The differential leukocyte counting is an important biomedical tool used to quantify the number of each type of WBC or leukocyte. The DLC is usually expressed in terms of percentage of that particular type of WBC. This form of WBC quantification is a more specific diagnostic tool as compared to the total leukocyte count or TLC, which merely quantifies the total number of WBCs as a whole, regardless of the number of each type of WBC in the blood sample. Knowing exactly how much of each of the different types of white blood cells is present in a patient's blood sample gives the medical practitioner valuable insights into the extent of health and wellness of the patient. Combined with the various other clinical test results of a person, the data on DLC count can guide the medical health professional through a well-informed medical diagnosis and subsequent treatment protocols of the disease that the patient might be inflicted with. The DLC procedure is a pretty simple process and can be performed in a modest lab setting. All that is required to perform a DLC are a compound light microscope and a thin stained peripheral blood smear of the patient's blood sample along with a pen and paper. Additionally, a blood cell counter may be used if available. To begin the DLC procedure, first prepare a thin peripheral blood smear of the given blood sample and stain it with an appropriate dye solution. Do watch my detailed but simple video on how to prepare a stained blood smear and also get a clear idea of how each type of WBC appears under the microscope by clicking on the link given at the top right corner of the screen right now or the link given in the video description below or the hashtags given right above this video title. Once you have the stained blood smear dried and ready, Place the slide on the microscope stage and first observe under low power of the microscope to get an idea of the distribution of the blood cell components on the slide. Now switch to 100x oil immersion objective of the microscope. Add a drop of immersion oil on the slide surface and gently lower the objective lens until it touches the oil surface. Before you actually begin the counting, prepare on a blank sheet of paper any one of the two types of tables shown here. If you choose to create the first type of table, you can simply enter a mark of your choice under the appropriate row on the table for that particular cell type as you count along. And if you've chosen the second type of table, which by the way contains 100 boxes, simply enter the appropriate initial of the name of the WBC type into each box successively as you count along. M for monocyte, L for lymphocyte, N for neutrophil, E for eosinophil, and B for basophil. In this manner, fill the appropriate boxes of the table as you count the various types of cells. Better still, you can make use of a handy piece of tool called the blood cell counter which looks something like this. A typical cell counter contains 5 counting slots representing the 5 types of WBCs along with one totaling slot that automatically adds up the numbers in the 5 slots into a total count. Each slot contains 3 rotating numeral rings from 0 to 9. Numbers are updated and entered into the rotating numeral rings of each of the five slots using the five keys which look pretty much like the keys of a typewriter. To use this cell counter, all you have to do is press the key of that slot for the particular cell type. One single press for one cell count. You can position the five fingers of one hand on the five keys while looking through the microscope and proceed smoothly with the counting although it requires a bit of practice and repetition to familiarize yourself with which finger rests on which cell type key. When a counting session is complete, you can set the counter back to zero by rotating the two knobs located on each end of the counter in a clockwise fashion until the rotating numeral rings of each slot are at zero. In DLC count, 100 cells are usually evaluated. In this regard, a convenient feature of the cell counter is that once the total count reaches 100, the counter makes a single loud ring using its inbuilt ringing bell, much like the calling bells used in office spaces. This allows us to perform an undisturbed counting without having to constantly check the counter to see whether or not the total has reached 100. Now that we have either the counting table or the cell counter ready at hand, we can begin the DLC process. When counting the cells, make sure to follow the pattern of counting on the slide as depicted by the arrows in this photo. This ensures that both central and peripheral areas of the blood smear are included in the counting process. 
Another good practice to obtain accurate counts is to avoid as much as possible the extreme corners of the blood smear, that is, the corner where the smear began and the corner where the smear ends or tapers. In fact, the most preferred site to perform a DLC count is the region in and around the borderline between the tail and the body of the blood smear. This is the region where the cells are uniformly spread into a monolayer without any clumping or overlapping. Count at least 100 or 200 white blood cells to get reliable results. DLC can be expressed in two ways, RDLC or Relative Differential Leukocyte Count and ADLC or Absolute Differential Leukocyte Count. To obtain the relative differential leukocyte count, convert the cell counts into percentage by adopting this formula. RDLC is expressed in percentage. In the case where 100 cells are counted, the cell count is the percentage itself. RDLC equals number of WBC type divided by total WBCs counted multiplied by 100%. And if you have data on the total leukocyte count of the blood sample, you can also calculate the absolute differential leukocyte count by adopting this formula. This gives you the total number of that particular cell type present per microliter or liter of the blood sample. ADLC equals percentage of WBC type multiplied by total leukocyte count. The absolute DLC data is in fact a more useful and reliable information for diagnostic purposes. Do watch my video on how to perform a total leukocyte count by clicking on the link in the top right corner of the screen right now or the link in the description below. The normal reference ranges for TLC and DLC are as given here. Total leukocyte count in a human adult is around 4,000 to 11,000 cells per cubic millimeter or microliter. The normal ranges of each type of WBC along with low and high counts, including the possible medical causes for such abnormal counts, can be summarized in the table as shown in the screen. So this is all about the differential leukocyte count method. Do watch my other related videos as well, and do show your support for my channel and like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.